Thank you for being with me again. This is part two of the tutorial to create a simple streaming application on Android using tool MIT App Inventor 2, which is a cloud-based tool. So we have designed the, the, the interface of our application. Now we need to, the, to program the buttons. So we go to the blocks editor, we click on blocks, and here you see that we have the built-in blocks and the blocks that we have the, the previously on the design editor so to do our application we start with the button play what should do the button play here we have some method and uh, we have some uh, properties if we are interested uh, simply in uh, doing and programming uh, the application when the user click uh, on the play button so what we have to do we have to set a source for our player so we set player one source two we need an URL an address and then we call the event of call player one start what is this source uh, must be set to so if you know your uh, URL for your radio then go on and put it uh, as a text string in here uh, otherwise we can uh, look on the internet for uh, this kind of information we are going to the shoutcast radio directory and we are browsing to some uh, station that we want to include in our application for test it's important that the type is mp3 because currently only mp3 radio are supported so let's for example look for some pop radio okay so let's try to search for top and the pop but but you are free to choose any keyword that you want. Important thing is that the radio is of MP3 type. Now click anywhere and do inspect element and then go to network. Here we are going to catch what is the stream, the actual stream IP address of the station. You can press play and then order by size. And you see that the size that is growing is probably our IP address with the stream URL. So you can click on it and here you get, I will stop because I don't know if it's disturbed. Here is the URL address that we have to put in App Inventor. So we can copy the address, go back to the App Inventor page and paste the address there. Okay, so this will be the address of our radio station. There are many other resources on the internet to find uh, what is the streaming uh, IP address uh, of a radio station. You can look for uh, MP3 streaming address, IP address of your favorite radio and uh, you can find uh, it uh, easily. I will not uh, put more information about that because uh, it's uh, not the scope of this uh, tutorial. Now we are going to program the action when the user click on the stop button what, what we want to do very simply we want to actually stop the player it's better to co to call it the pause method because it's uh, faster to execute uh, if uh, you want we want uh, then to restart the execution of the stream so on click we pause it and then on exit what we want to do when user press exit we want to exit uh, the application we found this option in the built-in uh, control where we have the close uh, application don't forget to put before the stop uh, of the uh, stream to else the streamer will go on and play continuously at this point we want to test our application how to do it we have connect via the iCompanion to our phone so if you don't have the companion app you can find it in the play store you can go simply here where you have the link for the play store of the MIT i2 companion if you don't have it installed install it now and then come back to this uh, tutorial so when you launch the application on your phone you can scan the QR code I'm showing uh, you my phone actually using the nice and wonderful BBQ screen uh, application so you see if I launch now MIT i2 companion I can scan 
press and scan the QR code and I go on and scan the QR code on the screen. As given that the, both uh, your phone and PC are on the same Wi-Fi network, after a few seconds you should see your nice uh, streaming application come up uh, on the phone. If I now press play, after a few moments of buffering time, you see that uh, the application starts to play the radio stream. If I press stop, the application stops and if I press exit, the application is not exiting because we are connected via the companion. So we must package a real APK to be able to simulate and test also the exit functionality. Remember that close application will not work right now. It will work in a moment. So now that the basic functionality is tested, we want to create the actual APK so we are able to distribute the final app to our friends or upload it even in the Play Store. We click on build and download the APK to this computer. There is a, uh, there is a compilation phase and you see that the file will be downloaded shortly. I select to save it in my directory and this is an, simply an APK file which is the extension for uh, application on Android phone. So now you can transfer this file to your phone via your preferred method and you can try to launch the application. Another way to test is to click on build app and provide QR code for APK that basically will compile the application on the MIT server and will let you install it on your phone by using the QR companion as we have seen before. So we just have to do again the scan QR code and we go on and scan the QR code. So APK will be transferred to your phone and it will ask you to install the application. You see this is the usual application stuff that we found on an Android. After a few seconds the application will be installed in our phone and we can test uh, if it's working properly. So play button. Okay, I hope you can hear. Stop. We'll stop the stream. Play. We'll resume playing. And as you see, I can go back to home screen and the radio streaming app will not stop to play. And you can also see that uh, the icon of our application uh, is uh, what we selected before. It doesn't look very nice because it's better to have uh, uh, a more clear background. Let's test the stop application and you see that it stop. Here we come back to the I connect. So it's not an error, it just went back to previous application that was uh, running on the phone. Some ideas to improve uh, this uh, uh, tutorial might be to put in the user interface, you can put uh, for example a slider to set uh, the volume of uh, your uh, uh, application, moving it with the thumb or with the finger. Okay, we'll not do it now, of course, or maybe you can put even more than one radio station and change the source by using with the make a list. You can make a list of different streaming stations and the user can select the preferred station. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. For any question or comment, please use the YouTube comments. I encourage you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find uh, other uh, tutorial mainly in Italian but sometime I will do it also tutorial in uh, English uh, language. Thumbs up if you like this video and I hope to hear you hear from you soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.